Hello students, welcome to the subject of complex variable and partial differential equation. Myself, Dr. Ankit Acharya and this is our fourth lecture for the chapter power series. In a first lecture, we discuss about uh, how we can find radius of convergence, circle of convergence. In a second lecture, we discuss about Taylor series. In a third lecture, last lecture, we discuss about Laurent series. Okay, and uh, there are so many important example uh, which we, uh, we we will discuss in our today's lecture for the topic Laurent series. So let's see, solve some very important example. So this is our next example for the topic Laurent series. As you all know that expand f of z that is equal to minus one upon z minus one into z minus two in region. Uh, region is already given. Okay, if you remember in last example, uh, region is not uh, regions are not given, so that's why we find out the region. Okay, in suppose in this example, suppose they don't mention about the region. In that case, you have to find out the all the region. Okay, but here uh, regions are given. Uh, why only this region they given? Try to understand because this function is not analytic at point. Z is equal to one and Z is equal to two. Okay, and uh, center point because more Z here we uh, you can see that more Z that means we want to express function in in powers of Z. Okay, so center point is zero zero and function is not analytic at this point at point one and at point two. So what is my first region? First region is the inside part of this small circle. What is my second region? Second region is a annular region between these two concentric circle. Okay, so this part, uh, this part that means one less than mod z less than two. And what is my third region? Third region is two less than mod z less than infinite. That means outside of this uh, bigger circle. Right. So there are three region in which the given function is analytic. First region is inside between uh, inside in this small circle. Uh, the second region is between these two concentric circle. That means annular region, and the third region is outside of this bigger circle. Okay, right now, first of all, I want to express this f of z in addition form. So, what is my f of z here? f of z that is equal to minus one upon z minus one into Z minus two that can be written as a upon z minus one plus b upon z minus two. Now from this equation, you can easily find out the value of a and b. What is the value of a? For that, you have to take z is equal to one in this term minus one upon z minus two. So when we take z is equal to one here, so one minus two, okay? So that is minus one and minus one. On numerator, so a is equal to one. Now b is equal to to find out the value of b, we have to take uh, z is equal to two here. So two minus one, okay. And on numerator we have already minus one, so minus one, right? Now one upon you can see that one upon z minus one minus one upon z minus two, okay. So now f of z. That is equal to I can write one upon z minus one minus one upon z minus two. Okay. Now what is my first region? First region is mod z less than one. Right. Now so f of z that is equal to I can write one upon instead of z minus one can I write minus one upon one minus z because this one I want to write on a first term. And here, uh, minus one upon z minus two. That is as it is. Now, because of mod z less than one, can I write mod z by two? Mod z by two uh, less than one by two. And we know that one by two less than one. And now I want to use this two equation. Mod z less than one and mod z by two. That is also less than one. And so that's why this minus one upon one minus z. That is as it is. Okay, from this second term, can I take two as a common term? So when I take two as a common, so minus one by two, one upon z by two minus one. Okay, 
z by 2 minus 1. So, this equal to minus 1 upon 1 minus z minus, okay, uh, now z by 2 minus 1, instead of z by 2 minus 1, I want to write 1 minus z by 2. So, here I have, uh, I have to take 1 uh, plus 1 by 2. So, plus 1 by 2, 1 upon 1 minus z by 2. So, that is why this equal to now modulus value of z and modulus value of z by 2. Both have less than 1. We have mod z less than 1 and mod z by 2 less than 1. So, we can express minus 1 plus z plus z square plus z cube and so on. Okay. And plus 1 by 2, 1 plus z by 2 plus z by 2 whole square and so on. Okay. Now, for second region, what is my second region? Second region is 1 less than mod z less than 2. Okay. So, now simplify this equation that is up to you. Okay. I leave it for all the students. So, minus 1 plus 1 by 2. Okay. So, that is minus 1 by 2. So, the constant term that is minus 1 by 2. Similarly, just write down the coefficient of z. Just write down the coefficient of z square and so on. Okay. So, that is, uh, I leave it for all the students. Now, what is my second region? Second region is 1 less than mod z less than 2. So, I can write mod 1 by z less than 1 and mod z by 2 less than 1. Can I write? Because first of all, 1 less than mod z. So, from 1 less than mod z, I can write mod 1 by z less than 1 and mod z less than 2 from mod z less than 2. I can write more z by 2 less than 1. Now, I want to use this two equation, okay, in my Laurent series example, right. I can use mod 1 by z less than 1 and mod z by 2 less than 1. So, f of z, now what is my f of z? f of z that is equal to 1 upon, let me show you, what is my f of z? 1 upon z minus 1 minus 1 upon z minus 2. So, 1 upon z minus 1 minus 1 upon z minus 2. Now, from first term, okay, uh, z I can take as a common. So, 1 upon z, I can write 1 upon 1 minus 1 upon z, okay. And from here, I can write plus 1 by 2, okay, 1 upon 1 minus z by 2, right. And mod 1 by z less than 1, mod z by 2 less than 1, so, that is why I can write 1 upon z, 1 plus 1 upon z, plus 1 upon z whole square, plus and so on, and plus 1 by 2, okay, this is 1 by 2, 1 plus uh, z by 2, plus z by 2 whole square, and so on, okay. Now, simplify this two bracket, that is up to you. Okay, now next region, what is my next region? Next region is C region that is 2 less than mod z less than infinite. Now from this region, can I write 2 less than mod z, right? And that is why modulus value of 2 by z less than 1 and because of modulus value of 2 by z less than 1, can I write mod 1 by z less than 1 by 2? This 2 I can write on the right side, so mod 1 by z less than 1 by 2 less than 1. Now, I, I want to use this two equation, mod 2 by z less than 1 and mod 1 by z less than 1, okay. And what is my f of z? f of z that is 1 upon z minus 1, okay. What is my f of z? f of z is 1 upon z minus 1 minus 1 upon z minus 2. So, z I can take as a common, so 1 upon z, 1 upon, okay, 1 minus 1 upon z and here also take z as a common term, so 1 upon 1 minus 2 by z. Now, modulus value of this two term, mod 1 by z and mod 2 by z, both have less than 1, so that is why I can write 1 upon z, okay, 1 upon z 
in bracket now we have 1 plus 1 upon z plus 1 upon z whole square and so on and what is my next term uh, next term is minus 1 upon z so minus 1 upon z 1 plus uh, 2 by z plus 2 by z whole square and so on so in this example you can see that in a first region for a first region c this is my first region mod z less than 1 for a first region that means this part okay for this part uh, i take common from the both the term constant okay for a second region 1 less than mod z less than 2 uh, take common uh, from the first term z and from the second term we take common as a constant term okay and from the third region from the both the term we take common as a z c if you remember this is my first region first region is mod z less than 1 from both the term i take common as a constant after that second region 1 less than mod z less than 2 so mod 1 by z less than 1 and mod z by 2 less than 1 so that's why from the first uh, term I take common term as a z and from the second term I take common as a constant term okay after that the third region is 2 less than mod z less than infinite and here from both the term we take common term as a z okay so now let us solve one more example okay uh, find all Taylor and Lorentz series for the function f of z that is minus 2z plus 3 upon z square minus 3z plus 2. Now when you simplify this is minus 2z plus 3 and z square minus 3z plus 2 can be simplified uh, z minus 1 into z minus 2 okay and that can be written as a upon z minus 1 plus b upon uh, z minus 2. So you can easily find out the value of a what is the value of a let me show you uh, take z is equal to 1 here so 1 minus 2 in denominator we have minus 1 on numerator we have 3 minus 2 so 1 so a is equal to minus 1 and the value of b to find out the value of b take z is equal to 2 here so 2 minus 1 1 and here minus 2 into 2 okay so that is minus 4 plus 3 so that is why b is also minus 1 so you can see that f of z you can write f of z is equal to okay f of z uh, that is equal to i can write minus 1 upon z minus 1 minus 1 upon z minus 2 okay and that is why you can see from this figure what is my center point center point is 0 0 okay with center 0 already given in the example and the given function is not analytic at point 1 0 and 2 0 right so that is why we can take uh, we can find out first of all the region my first region is inside portion of this small circle you can see that my first region is f of a is equal to mod z less than 1 okay my second region what is my second region that is annular region 1 less than mod z less than 2 okay regions are not given in this example that you have to find out okay and the third region is 2 less than mod z less than infinite right so one by one you have to find out Lorentz series for all the region the first series for the first region that is called Taylor series okay because inside part for inside part whenever you find out the series that is called Taylor series and this two part are annular region so that that is called Lorentz series right so what is my function f of z that is equal to minus 1 upon z minus 1 minus 1 upon z minus 2 first of all i find out for the first region what is my region mod z less than 1 right and i can write mod z by 2 less than 1 by 2 which is less than 1 so now use this two equation mod z less than 1 and mod z by 2 less than 1 so 1 upon i can write 1 by 1 minus z here also i can write plus 1 by 2 okay 1 upon 1 minus z by 2 correct and mod z less than 1 mod z by 2 less than 1 so that is why I can write 
वन प्लस जेड प्लस जेड स्क्वायर प्लस एंड सो वन एंड हियर आल्सो प्लस वन बाय टू राइट वन प्लस जेड बाय टू प्लस जेड बाय टू होल स्क्वायर एंड सो वन नाउ व्हाट इज माय सेकंड रीजन सेकंड रीजन दैट इज वन लेस देन मोर जेड लेस देन टू सो आई कैन राइट मोर वन बाय जेड लेस देन वन एंड मोर जेड बाय टू less than 1 okay now use this two equation what is my f of z f of z that is equal to minus 1 upon z minus 1 minus 1 upon z minus 2 okay and uh, z you can take as a common so z i can take a common so minus 1 upon z 1 upon okay 1 minus 1 upon z and the same series here plus 1 by 2 right 1 upon 1 minus z by 2. Here also mod 1 by z and mod z by 2 both have less than 1, so that's why minus 1 upon z, 1 plus 1 upon z plus 1 upon z whole square and so on and plus 1 by 2. Okay, 1 plus z by 2. Okay, plus plus z by 2 whole square and So on. Now for the third region, what is my third region? Two less than mod z less than infinite. So from two less than mod z, I can write mod two by z less than one and mod one by z less than one by two less than one. Now what is my f of z? Z minus one and minus one upon z minus two. So this equal to what z can be common. So minus one upon z, one minus one upon z, minus here also z can be common. So one minus two by z, and both have modulus less than one. So that's why I can write minus one upon z, one plus one upon z, plus one upon z whole square, and so on. And here. Minus one upon z, one plus two by z, plus two by z whole square, and so on. Okay. So in today's lecture, we discuss about Lorentz series, and we solve. There are two examples. We solve both are very important example asked in GTU question paper so many times. Okay. So thank you.